Hi everyone, Sherry from Granny's Sewing Room stopping in to tell you hi and let you know what I've made and what I'm working on at the moment. At the moment I'm working on a quilt for my great niece trying to get it done before Christmas and it's turning out really pretty. Purples and uh, the Midnight Poppy, that's what those colors are. A two and a half uh, jelly roll, two and a half inch jelly roll. But that's what I'm working on and hopefully I'll get done before Christmas. Plus I'm trying to get a lot of my bacon done. I got some bacon done this weekend. I made a video for Tally for my peanut brittle. She wanted to know how to make my candy. So I will insert a video on making a uh, peanut brittle, some steps that I go through. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is what I got done yesterday for my granddaughter. And it's just a little frame that comes off advent calendar. Got some hot glue on it. And the, let me see. And the frame has Velcro on the back of it. And then you just go from day to day until you get down to Santa Claus Day. Let's see Santa Claus. Whoops, sorry, dropped it. Until you get down to the Santa Claus Day. So I got that to put on her wall. She wanted an advent calendar. Got that done. And then over the weekend, I got her, her wall hanging of Santa Claus. And all I did was put this on the long arm and sewed around each of the, each of the items that's in the picture, kind of to make it 3D. Got that done in November. Well, yeah, November. Today's only the second. Got that done December. Got my Christmas ornaments done. Got all the little bags done that I'm going to put money in. Got a little towel done. For one granddaughter. And then I got my bowl cozies done. And I think I got a few more ornaments done too. So I still got some sewing to get going and uh, finish up before Christmas. We are going to have an ugly Christmas party at Granny's house. So everybody's going to wear an ugly sweater ugly Christmas party no ugly sweater Christmas party I said that wrong so we're gonna have an ugly sweater Christmas party and uh, I went to the thrift store to buy an ugly sweater and I found this beautiful picture someone painted and it was $15 and I got 30% off with a senior citizen discount at the thrift store so pays to get old doesn't it in some cases just the body doesn't pay to get old but uh, I don't know if I showed you the picture of that uh, painting, but if not, I will insert a picture of it because it was just a beautiful, beautiful painting. And uh, it doesn't go with any of my decor, but none of my decor goes together anyway. It just kept yelling at me, don't leave me, don't leave me. So I had to bring it home. But it was, it was pretty. But I did lay in bed and... Uh, didn't follow my rule about not ordering fabric and I I ordered some fabric after that shirt I made I thought oh that fit me so good I'm gonna try this more but um, I'm not real happy with what I ordered I don't have a eye for buying fabric but this is a rayon and it's a navy yellow looks like antique leaves the colors antique in it and it's kind of a to me a dingy white and that's the only part I don't like about it. I don't care for the dingy white. It looks like it already faded out on itself or just dingy. But uh, navy blue, dingy white flowers. It's called antique white and yellow berries on it. So 
it's not bad, but uh, it's not a favorite. So then I thought, you know, you really know what you what you like when you start sewing, trying to sew clothes for yourself. As I'm looking in my closet, I see I have a lot of stripes. I see I'm really noticing the colors and the style that uh, I tend to buy. And uh, I have another stripe on today. <laughs> but yeah, you notice, you start noticing more. And uh, so I bought a stripe. It has some metallic thread in it. This is doable, it's a knit. You know, and I thought I would make a top out of it. But then I thought if I lose 10 more pounds, um, this would be a cool color block for a dress, you know, just around the waist, black and black and color block something. So I got that. That's doable. I'm not real displeased with that. And let me see. Then I bought, I wanted a surprise. So I got the Julie's Mystery Box or Sue's Pick of the Day. It was a mystery box. And um, it was $2.99 a yard. This one was $4.50 a yard and $3.99 a yard. And um, this was in the mystery box. It's a woven. It doesn't tell me what type of woven. It feels like a nylon. But uh, it's browns. It's browns. Got a little bitty blue in it, but <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I just kind of thought, oh, they, they're going to give you something nice if you take a chance. And I, it's a nice piece of fabric, just ugly color, uh, nothing I would have ever picked out. But uh, I don't know that I like browns and plaid to... To me, it reminds me of a lining inside of a jacket of something. So I'm not real happy with that, and I won't ever buy the mystery box again. So that's kind of what I've done for the month of November. And um, For the last week, I know I've been missing in action. Let me pull the camera down. I know I've been missing in action, but I have a lot of irons in the fire right now trying to get Christmas party uh, set up and arranged and Christmas gifts made. And um, I did get my printer working, if I didn't tell you. So I talked to my granddaughter. She had called and I asked her if she got any mail because I did not put a return uh, envelope or return address on the envelope or sign the uh, scriptures that I sent to my granddaughter and my son. And uh, she said, no, I didn't, Grandma. She said, I did get some scripture from someone and uh, that was me. But uh, so now I know she's got it. But my son, I guess, will be getting out of jail here at the end of the week. So I won't... Um, send him any more scripture but I did get the printer working I did get some scripture in the mail for him and uh, I think the devil was really trying to prevent what little he did get so uh, God's Word is good God's words powerful and God's Word does not come back void so it's in there it's in that heart it just planted a little well the seeds there uh, it just watered it watered the seed a little bit more maybe fertilized it but um, I believe we're going to have in a mighty revival. We are going to experience a, a mighty awakening and a mighty revival. And I believe, you know, the bondages of sin and chains of uh, bondages are going to be broken and released. And I am praying that. And I am praying for our president. And I'm praying for uh, everything that's happening. I am just believing God has a plan and a purpose and uh, something mighty great is going to happen. So, got to gotta hang on to that belief and believe that. So, what else is new? I'm going to go shopping with my sister. i uh, going to get my great grandbaby and we're going to make some sugar cookies. And uh, she's going to open up a couple of her little Christmas presents. I got her a little baking uh, a uh, baking gift where it's got a little rolling pin her size and a whip and a apron, a uh, hat, mitt, a 
oven mitt and I, I thought that'd be cute so when she gets here we're gonna open that up and then we're gonna make some sugar cookies so that'll be fun I will record that uh, what else that's about it um, I went and had my eyes checked and uh, I need new glasses I knew that because I'm having a hard time seeing. I think when you're on the computer a lot and sewing a lot, you just, it, it's hard to see. You start, your eyes start going and uh, so I need new glasses and I can't get them until the 1st of January because our insurance won't pay for the frames uh, until the 1st of January. And I need two sets of frames because I need one just for computer and one for distance and close up. So these are bifocals, but I can't do trifocals. I've tried the trifocals. So I just get two pair of glasses and uh, that's what I got. I got to wait till January. But I took my glasses off the other day, sitting in the chair and nodding off, you know, sitting there relaxing and forgot I put my glasses on my lap. So when I got up, the glasses fell and I stepped on something and I thought, oh no felt my face glasses weren't there and I smashed these suckers to smithereens I got them bent out the nose piece they're on my face they're staying and I can see pretty good but uh, these babies are smashed up and I just hope they don't look all awkward on my face but <laughs> it was it was horrible I thought I was just gonna have a meltdown right then but I just said nope nope you can fix them and I just went down there and got my little pliers and start started working on them praying that I wouldn't break the arm off but that was crazy but anyway I'm gonna go pick up my sister and my niece and we are going to go get some shopping done um, how was your Thanksgiving mine was beautiful it was just a nice quiet Thanksgiving the two of us my turkey was gorgeous beautiful but it tasted horrible and it was tough and dry and I thought holy moly if looks can be deceiving it looked beautiful but it was horrible so we have another turkey he goes and gets these turkeys if you buy a ham you get a free turkey and I don't know if it was last year's turkey or what but that was one tough bird so I'm gonna take this turkey out this weekend thaw it out and um, soak it in a brine 24 hours and see if that doesn't help the next one and they were a name brand, brand turkey too, so I, I wanted to blame myself, but now I cook a turkey like this every year, and this one just was horrible. I think eating turkey is a, a chance anyway. You're taking a chance if it's going to be a good one or a bad one, you know, so I kind of think that uh, turkey's kind of like playing the lottery. You don't know if you're going to win or not until it's done, and and most people just choke it down anyway and for Christmas we are going to have a ham dinner I'm going to get a ham and some cheesy potatoes and that's what we're going to have Christmas Eve when all the kids come over and uh, show off their ugly sweaters but what else is new I don't know that's about it has anyone told you you're special today if not let me be the first because you are in God's eyes you guys go out and have a wonderful day. Do something creative. Stay home. Be creative. But whatever you do, do it in the name of the Lord and your blessings will always come back. So I'm going to insert a couple videos uh, at the end of this video with some uh, steps of making peanut brittle. Uh, I got my um, carrot cakes all made. I just have to frost in them. I, I froze them. So I got my carrot cakes made and my peanut brittle made this weekend. So that will be one video and I'll put a bit a uh, picture of the picture that I bought. <laughs> so from the thrift store, I'll put a, insert a picture of that. So you guys go out and have a good day. Bye. God bless everybody. I made a video yesterday showing me wearing some of my old clothes and I was going to model my six pounds that are gone. But I looked at that video and seen me in that skirt and top and I thought, that is embarrassing. I would not show it for anything. Holy moly, I still have rolls and I'm, you know, when you lose a few pounds, you're thinking, oh, you're all that. 
So I lost six pounds according to my scale. And, uh, but after I seen myself on that video, I thought you need to lose like 10 more before you start showing off them rolls. I, uh, I don't like things real tight. No, they were tight, but not, I was amazed I got into them. So, <laughs> but anyway, so that I did make a video yesterday. I just refused to show it in my skirt and my top. So, all right, everyone. Cheers. Happy. Merry Christmas. This video is for Tally, homemade peanut brittle. And what you need is, this is a double batch. You need one cup of white carol syrup, eighth teaspoon of salt, a cup of white sugar, a tablespoon of butter, and you put that all in there and get it all mixed up. Stir, keep stirring on heat with a wooden spoon until it's uh, amber in color, golden amber in color. And then when it's amber in color, you shut it off the heat. And then you put in a half a teaspoon of vanilla and one teaspoon of soda and stir it real fast and then you already have a cookie sheet prepared. I always put butter in the bottom of it. And you spread it out as fast as you can onto the cookie sheet. You get your first five ingredients put in there. And it's one cup of sugar, one cup of white carol syrup. Oop, I forgot the two cups of raw peanuts. I will show you a picture of that. One tablespoon of butter eighth teaspoon of salt and you get that in your pan and that's what you heat up. Once it turns uh, amber in color that's when you add your vanilla and your soda. And this was the raw peanuts. You don't want to get salted peanuts you want to make sure they're raw peanuts. Okay is the video for Kelly. She wanted to see how I do this. So I'm just going to start heating this up and let it get hot and start cooking. It takes, I doubled my batch, but it takes about 15 to 20 minutes for a single batch to um, get amber in color. So that's approximately how long and you've got to stir constantly. All right, I'll talk to you later. you have a candy thermometer you can put that in and when it says 300 you can add your soda and vanilla then but I don't have a thermometer so I just wait till it's nice and amber in color okay that's amber to me so I'm going to add my soda and my vanilla. I turn off the heat
Well, let's see if I can shut this off. Nope, can't. And then you stir really fast. And go spread it on your pan as fast as you can. This is what it looks like on the cookie sheet when I get it spread out. And then it'll just start breaking once it's cool. And then you break it up in pieces and put it in bags. And if you can get it spread out thin, that's the best. But it's hard to get it spread out when it's really hot because it is extremely hot. So. Bye. God bless everybody. Merry Christmas if I don't get a video made before then. Have a very Merry Christmas. And remember, Jesus is the reason for this season. Amen.